Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be installing this really gorgeous wig from West Kiss Hair. As you can see, she is so, so stunning. It is pre-curled, so all of the work is pretty much done for you. And this wig is super full and it is super easy to install. So if you wanna see how I achieve this look, definitely stay tuned. So this is the box that it comes in and you get a bunch of goodies to help you install your wig per usual. And I'm going to be using a few of these in today's install. And this is the wig that we're going to be installing. This is a 13 by 6, 30 inch, 300% density wig. Yes, 300% density, sis. She is thick. And this is what it looks fresh out. It is plucked, bleached, just gorgeous. The part is super deep, a lot of space to work with. And it just looks literally like scalp. And I'm super excited to install this wig. The one thing that I love about wigs that come like this fresh out the pack is that I know it's going to be a very easy install and even a beginner can achieve this look. So this is what it looks like. I don't have a ball cap or anything like that. I just have a wig cap on. And as you can see, it is looking so good already. I'm super excited to style this and I wanted to show you guys how deep the part is close up and on my head so you can see how deep and how much parting space you have to work with. So this is what the curls look like fresh out of the box as well. The only thing I would say is if you want to, you know, add some layers, but we're not there yet. That is literally all you pretty much have to do with this wig. So now I'm just going to be doing my normal install. I'm going to cut some slits in the lace to make it easier to install and kind of get rid of some of the excess because it just be all up in my face and I could barely see. So this is the spray we're going to be using. It's by Kiss, the Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. And this I actually really like. I wish the nozzle was a little different she comes out pretty aggressive low-key but i do really like the hold of this hairspray so here i'm just spraying it on my forehead per usual and just like fingering it in you could use like a popsicle stick or something else but this is just the easiest tool that we have on hand right so i'm just going to be putting that all across my hairline and i'm not doing it in sections because i ain't got time so i'm just going to be spraying it like this and then i'm going to do a couple of layers per usual after I blow dry it just to make sure it sticks nice and well. So obviously we're going to go in and blow dry it. I did get some of the excess spray on my forehead, which is why I said I wish the nozzle sprayed a little bit differently because it'd be coming out all kinds of crazy and I end up with hairspray driplets all over my face. But you want to do this until it dries up a little bit and I am going to go in and add another layer which I don't think I showed but you don't need to see that because you get the point so after it dries and everything is nice and tacky I'm going to pull the wig forward and take my comb and comb the lace into the hairspray so I don't have to worry about like a whole bunch of cakey hairspray like clogged onto the lace if that makes any sense I used to spray the hairspray directly on the lace y'all remember them days and I used to hate how crusty it was and it was hard to get rid of all that white residue so this is probably the better way to do it and I'm so 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 glad that I started doing it this way because my wig installs was definitely not doing what they were supposed to do back then but here I'm just pressing it in and pressing it in and pressing it in and then we're going to cut off the extra lace and then we're going to actually directly spray the hairspray on the lace because this is when you want to get that extra lace that's kind of like lifted after you cut it to lay nice and flat. So then I'm going to take this Ruby Kisses cream foundation and this is like a little bit darker than me and I'm going to be putting it on that lace to kind of melt it away, kind of make it blend in a little bit better. You always want to use a color that's a little bit darker. I feel like this isn't even that much darker than me to be honest because it does come off a little white sometimes but nonetheless you want to use something a little bit darker so that it blends very very seamlessly. Here I'm just taking out the two pieces at the temple and doing my typical baby hairs. At this point, honestly and truly, you don't even need to do this if you don't want any baby hairs and you just want that seamless look in the front, you could stop here. But y'all know I'm not going to do that because girl, I need my baby hairs, okay? I feel like I look kind of weird without them. 
low key. So now I'm just taking this mousse, this lot of body mousse, and putting it on baby hairs just to mold them in place. Nothing crazy. Not gonna talk through this part because you get the point. And yeah. So now I'm gonna take this razor comb and this is where you go in and add layers if you would like. I feel like it's probably better to add layers, especially face framing layers for some really curly bombshell hair so that it falls really nicely. You don't have to do this. If you're not skilled at cutting hair or doing any of the things, then you definitely don't have to, okay? Because you don't wanna butcher it. So just kind of leave it be. That comb was really dull. So I just went in with some scissors and just cut some face framing layers in the front. And then because I've kind of manipulated the hair and just kind of like worn it out a little bit, sis, I'm gonna go in and re-add the curls to give that very voluminous look. And yeah, I'm just gonna continue to cut. I didn't do too much because I didn't want to take too much off the front, but that is what I'm doing. So here I'm just taking the curls that I pinned up in the front because I wanted to make sure that they were nice and fresh when I did the takedown and I didn't want them to fall. So I did pin them up after I did them. And here is what it looks like. As you can see, the curls are nice and juicy. The bottom is still pretty much the curls that originally came in the wig. And then the top is just me recurling it for the sake of manipulating it and doing the layers. But this is the final look. It is so gorgeous. It was such an easy install. Be sure to check the description box for all of the details on this wig. It is from West Kiss Hair, like I said, and all of the specs and details will be down below for you to check out. So let me know what you guys think of this hair and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.